Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you what I consider to be my essential fall and winter jackets and coats, as well as some vests. I thought today would be a good day to film it because it's the first day snowing here in Switzerland. It's really pretty outside. So most of this stuff I've had for years. Some of it is relatively new, but I think they make great pieces that you're gonna probably need year after year. So all of these I would say are great investment pieces. Some of them are definitely a little bit more money. So I wanted to make a video just so you kind of have a size guide reference. I'll try everything on in the mirror after, but I'll show you the item and I'll talk about sizing, how it fits in case you want to order it online, especially with Christmas coming up. All of these I feel like would make great gifts for you or somebody else. So the first jacket is from Aritzia. So this is the Super Puff Shorty jacket. I know a lot of girls have it. I went for the glossy red. I got this in a size large. I feel that this runs definitely a little bit small. So if you're in between sizes, sometimes I wear medium, sometimes a large, definitely size up. Also, if you have a larger chest or you're planning to wear like a thick hoodie or other sweatshirt or sweaters underneath, definitely size up in this. Years ago when they first came out with this jacket, I remember it fit very big. I ended up getting a size small. I was disappointed with it because the feathers kept coming out. This is my second winter with this and it held up very well last year. I didn't wear it a ton just because it wasn't super cold here in Switzerland, but I didn't notice the feathers falling out and it looks absolutely perfect. I really like the pop of red. I got this actually for more of a ski jacket to go with my ski pants but I'm gonna show you the features in the mirror I feel like if you intend to wear this for skiing or snowboarding this red color is actually very good so people can see you and then also too if you're kind of like me and always buy black clothing this red's just something nice and I feel like the red it actually goes with pretty much everyone's skin tone so here's the super puff coat it has this built into it. It's really nice and soft. There's a spot for your thumb to go through if you like that. So it buttons up over the zipper. I'm just being picky, but I wish it didn't have anything on the label there. I think it just looks better when it has nothing. But yeah, I really like the color. It has toggles down here if you do want to cinch it up and make it even more cropped. But I think the red is just a really nice pop. Ooh. On the inside, there's a zippered pocket there. And that's it from the side. And then I'll show you with the hood up. And that's how far the hood comes up. It does have this muted logo there. Again, I wish it wasn't there, but it's not a big deal. And it also has toggles there if you need to tighten the hood. So it is a pretty good hood, but definitely the one on the Canada Goose coat that I'm gonna show you is a lot better. Like I said, I bought this for skiing. So I feel like this is a good ski jacket or just like an everyday jacket if you wanna wear it to the gym. This top is from Adenola. I cannot stop wearing it. And these leggings are actually from Gymshark. I don't own anything from Gymshark and I got them in the sale and they are amazing. I really, really like them. It's just a really nice base layer if you put these two things on. So the next jacket that I absolutely love is from Canada Goose and I would recommend investing in either this super puff one or a Canada Goose if you live in a cold weather climate. So this is the woman's cypress coat and I got the black label. Just in case if you're wondering, the black label just, it means that, that the label is black. Usually the Canada Goose one it has some primary colors. I personally don't really like that. I like how the black label looks. So this one is a shiny black color. It is kind of similar to this one. So I would say if this is not in your price range, definitely go for the Aritzia, the super puff one. So in this one, I take a size medium. I would say if you're in between sizes, you can likely actually err on the side of the smaller one because um, this definitely gives me extra room. So the reason I love this one, the Canada Goose Jack, is they look very sleek, especially the black label one. They're incredibly warm, but they're very lightweight, especially this one. Um, some of the longer ones are a little bit heavier, but this version is incredibly lightweight. The reason I really love this is the cut of it comes down longer. So this is not essentially cropped. This covers your bum and that little piece of fabric that just comes down further than a crop jacket it keeps you so much warmer my mom always told me that when i was younger because i always wanted the crop puffer jackets she's like you need something longer it keeps you warmer and she was definitely right also the hoods on canada goose jackets are incredible it almost builds a tunnel around your face i'll show you in the mirror and i just like that it looks really sleek and it matches everything it also has zippers up the sides so you can open the sides if you want if you get a 
little bit warm or even I was thinking too if for women if they get pregnant because you can open the sides up you don't have to invest in another winter coat if you know you're quite far along in your pregnancy because of that it really expands out the front so this is a great option something like this too if you get it in black it will never go out of style every winter you'll probably be wanting a jacket like this so here's the canada goose coat you guys same with the super puff coat i just wish they didn't put canada goose there or there but that's just me being picky i just wish it was plain black but i really like it right when you put it on it just feels so nice and soft it's light yet really warm um it's just really nice quality there you can see the logo and then i'll show you the inside in a minute so you can see it totally covers your bum. It dips down at the back, which is great. So if need be, both of the sides open that much. So that's great if you're putting on snow pants. Like I said, if you happen to get pregnant in the winter and you're far along, you can open your jacket up and it gives you a lot of extra space so you don't have to buy a new coat. And also too, if you're just walking, hiking, doing anything really, and you need some extra ventilation. Also too, if you have very wide hips, you could loosen it up. This is the size medium though. It does run a little bit oversized, but I feel like it runs true to size. Um, and I definitely, I wouldn't suggest sizing up or down. I would get your true size. I think online it says it runs big, but I don't really agree. I think it just runs true to size. So right away when I put this hood up, it fits much nicer than any of my other jackets. It's a lot deeper, so especially if you're tall, that's important. Um, you can put this right up. It'll come up right under your nose. And then I'm going to show you from the side what I mean. If you need it to, you can put it out like that. You'd have to be careful when you're walking, obviously, because it blocks your peripheral vision, but it's great for wind has the toggle here. So inside you have a huge zippered pocket that you can actually pack the whole coat into. And then it has straps in the back. It also has a mesh pocket down there as well as another mesh pocket in there. That's what it looks like open. I think it looks really nice left open as well. That's how long it comes down at the back. It's perfect length for walking doesn't get in the way, but it keeps you really warm. So on the inside too, the Canada Goose jackets, they come with this strap, which is removable. So you can almost wear it like a backpack if you get hot or if you're skiing and you just want to take it off. Even I've seen people when they're traveling in the airport, in a mall, somewhere where it gets really warm and you want to take it off. Also, when you pack this into its pocket, you can take this off and wear it like a crossbody bag. And that's what it would look like if you're kind of wearing it on your back like that. The next coat that I absolutely still adore is my Max Mara teddy bear coat. So this is in the color sand. I got a size small. I have a video on my channel. I think this is four or five years old. My um, fiance at the time, he got this for me. We were in Italy in Milan and it was almost my birthday. So he very nicely gifted me this. And in that video, I explained compared to Canada, the price difference, it was $3,000 Canadian cheaper in Italy. These are so much cheaper in Europe, so I would never pay full price for this, but if you can get it on sale or if you're traveling and then you know you pay less money, get the VAT back, I would recommend it, but never pay full price in Canada these with tax they're going to be five thousand something dollars canadian absolutely do not pay that they fit extremely big so i take the size small someone commented in one of my last videos they're like the sleeves are too short on you but i'm going to show you on the model the sleeves are cut short on this this is just the style of the coat so i tried on the medium the medium was massive like even the small is massive on me so I would say if you're a very petite person, I don't actually think this coat will work for you. I think you need some height or broader shoulders or you need a little bit of stature, I think, to pull this off just because it is so incredibly oversized. I feel like most people would not need the size medium or large in this coat. So yeah, just keep that in mind. You really have to size down in this and you know, I'm usually like a medium or large and if I need a small, so kind of judge accordingly. So even with it buttoned up, you can see like it's really, really wide. 
every time I put this on, I honestly want to fall asleep just because it feels like you're in a cozy comforter or a sleeping bag. I really like it. I said this in one of my other videos, they forgot to put a hanger in the bag. So make sure you get a hanger that has very wide shoulders. Otherwise this will fall off in your closet. And for that reason, if you go to a restaurant, I would actually not coat check this. I think it might be better just on the back of your chair or if you can lay it down, um, just because I feel like most coat hangers this will slide off of and you don't want this to fall on the floor especially in the winter if the floors happen to be wet so just keep that in mind because I feel like the collar of it is very open so it tends to fall off hangers that are not wide enough so next up I have two leather jackets these are more probably for fall or if you live somewhere where the weather doesn't get too cold in the winter I absolutely love these. These are definitely both investment pieces. I did get both of them on sale though. So often this website does have promotion, so I would wait for something to go on sale. So both of these are from Ducey London. And this is the Tanya leather jacket. This is a cropped one. These are both real leather. Um, I really like this one just because of it has the exaggerated wide sleeve. I've got really so many compliments on this and it's incredibly soft. It's very heavy weight. It's really good quality. I've had this now for years. So I got the size medium in this. It is slightly oversized. So definitely stick to your true size in this one if you like it. And I believe this comes in two other colors. I usually wear this with high-waisted jeans or trousers. I think it looks the best. There's the oversized sleeve. That's the kind of selling feature for me. I absolutely love it. Again, this leather is super, super soft really nice and it's very heavy too so it's just great great quality and in case you wanted to see it done up there it is I like this because the belt's not too long I hate I have a Zara it's like a faux leather coat and they made the belt way too long I hate that I think it looks cheap this just looks really nice when it's done up as well and you can kind of see it just comes up like that so it's definitely cropped and then another one by this brand is the Aggie. This is the long leather, it's almost kind of like a trench coat or a really, really long blazer type coat. It's like a double breasted coat. I get so many compliments on this to um, men for whatever reason seem to love this jacket. So for sizing on the tag of this one, it says medium slash large, but on their website, I think it goes extra small, small, medium, large. I had emailed them, I remember, because I said, you know, I. I already own this in a size medium. Would you suggest I get the same size? They actually suggested to go up to a size large, which I did, but then when it came, it said medium slash large. So I'm not really sure about that. Something's maybe off on their website. I would say though that this jacket fits exactly like a medium slash large. It doesn't really fit like a large. So I would say it fits me absolutely perfectly. If you think that you're much bigger than me, I don't think this unfortunately will work for you, but I'm gonna link some alternatives in the description below. And especially too, because these are real leather, they're investment pieces. If you don't wanna spend that much, you can get lots that are faux leather that look almost just as nice. So here is the long leather coat by Ducey London. This is the Aggie coat. Like I said, this is the medium slash large. I love it. It's beautiful, soft leather. I just love it so, so much. I'm really glad I invested in this piece and it fits me perfectly. I'll show you done up as well. I usually just leave it open when I'm walking or just button the top one if it's a little bit windy. So there it is completely done up. So it has three buttons there, but that would make it a little bit hard to walk in. So usually if I'm walking, I would just typically do up the first one or two and there's just with one done up. And then it gives your legs a little bit more room to move. So next up, this is a coat that I got on sale. I believe I got this at TNT in Toronto and they always have amazing sales. So I would not have paid full price for this, but I got a really good deal on it. So this is from Parenza Schooler White Label. So um, it, it still wasn't the cheapest, but it's definitely more affordable line. And it is a long, um, it's a faux leather kind of 
puffer coat, but it's longer. It's incredibly warm. I think it's kind of fun because it has the belt like this. And again, I get lots of compliments on this. It doesn't have a hood, but that's okay. You can wear a hat with it, but I really like this. And there's definitely similar options that are a lot more affordable, but I've really got a lot of wear out of this. So here's the Paranza Schooler coat. I did find one just like this. It's the same size. This is a size medium on Poshmark and it was only worn once. So it's perfect condition. If you happen to like it, I will link it down below. I feel the faux leather look is just a little bit different than a regular puffer jacket and like I said it's really it's extremely warm My next type of coat that I'd recommend investing in is a long wool coat. So I got this one from the Frankie shop last year. This is the Mela coat and it's a blend of wool and polyester. So it doesn't actually say the Frankie shop on it. It says newborn. It's made in Korea, but sometimes the Frankie shop private labels other things, I think, and they have other brands on their website. So this was kind of a one size fits most. It is oversized, but I just really liked that dark army green type color. And they have one that is similar on their website right now so I will link it this one is incredibly warm and you can kind of be dressed very casual underneath and just put this on and it just kind of brings everything together I actually don't have a long black wool coat so some year I'll invest in that if one of my other ones gives out on me but for now I just thought the green was a nice change just because I do have so much black so here's the Frankie shop coat so again it only came in the one size so it's very oversized like a lot of their stuff is and it's unisex but I really like it. Um, it just kind of hangs like this. Like I said, they do have a similar one on their website right now. And then when you cinch it, it almost looks more like a wool trench coat. And I like the length of the sleeves. And because it's a bit oversized, it's super, super warm. I wore this. We went away the other weekend and it was freezing. And this was great with a scarf. So next up, I have this coat from Cause that I got this year. I got it in New York when we were visiting. So I got this in a size medium. So it does run a little bit oversized, but I would get your true size. And this is a type of coat I would recommend. It's that quilted type material. You can also get ones at Zara, H&M. A lot of stores have ones like this. I like it just because it has the, the knit around the collar and also around the sleeves, so it makes it a little bit warmer. And again, it's also longer, so it comes down over your bum. So that way, you know, if you are wearing leggings, you just look a little bit more put together. This is a great jacket to run errands in, but you look a little bit more put together. And yeah, I really like it. And I opted to get the chocolate brown, just again, you know, something other than black, but the black was really nice as well. And here's the cause coat. I've shown this in some recent videos. So this is the size medium. It obviously it runs oversized, but it's supposed to. I really like the brown and I like how this back part kind of covers your bum again. And I'll show you zipped up if you want to see. But definitely the knit around the, the collar there and the sleeves, it keeps you a lot warmer. And there it is done up. So next up, this is more of a lightweight jacket. So again, it might be better for fall or just a warm winter's day. This is from the North Face and this is the Hydronolite jacket. I got this in a size large and their stuff definitely fits a little bit tiny. So if in doubt, I would size up, I would say. So it's just a lighter puffer jacket. It's plain black, um, has the logo here and then on the back shoulder and just a lightweight hood. But this is great if you want, want to go on a walk or even a run, it has the zippered pockets. It's not too bulky. And this is a great layering piece and I would recommend this. Again, I got this on sale though. Usually, you know, before or after Christmas, North Face stuff does go on sale. So I would try to get a bit of a discount on it if you can, but this would make a great gift. Again, this is never gonna go out of style. So here's the North Face jacket. Um, again, this is a size large, so it is a lot thinner. It's not as puffy, so it looks tinier, but the size large fits me perfectly, but I would definitely size up if you're in doubt. Um, probably even if you size up, it's not gonna be too big. It, it runs definitely small. So it's just a nice thin puffer jacket. The pockets are nice and deep and they're zippered, which I love. And the zippers run really nicely. And I'll show you with the hood up. So the hood on this one, it feels similar to the Aritzia Super Puff jacket. 
it's not the best, but it will do if you're in a pinch. And just to know around the bottom of this, it does not have any toggles. So you kind of just have to live with how wide it is. It is definitely loose around the waist, but I need it for arm length, size large for sure. And then you can see it also has the logo on the back there. So another piece from North Face, I'll just read the name. So this is the 1996 Retro Nupsy Vest. I hope I'm saying that properly. I also got this in the size large. So this is a thicker puffer material than the jacket I just showed, but it's essentially kind of the same style with the logo there and on the back. And it also has a hood that's hidden. Um, you can roll it out. The hood is not that substantial, but it's nice if it starts raining. And yeah, this is a great vest. Again, it will never go out of style. I'll probably have this my whole life. I really do like it. It's very warm. Again, this is a great layering piece to have in your wardrobe. And if it's not too cold outside, nice thing to go for a walk in or again, run errands. Here's the North Face vest. I really like it. I find it feels a lot thicker than the coat. It comes down to a nice height, it goes down a little bit deeper at the back and has nice deep zippered pockets again. And with this one, it has toggles, so you can cinch it for a different look. So I'm going to show you that. And that is with me cinching the vest up a little bit. So it definitely has more of a cropped look, if you like that. Yeah, I think it's really nice. It's cute. Also, it has the logo on the back. And it has just one of those very thin, flimsy hoods that rolls up into the collar. And one last vest. I showed this recently. I got this from Oisho. This is more a layering piece again. It's not so much a fashion-y vest. If you're looking for more of a fashion type vest in a similar style, there is one from Adenola. I can link if they have it back in stock. So this is from Oisho. Like I mentioned, I got this size large and this is just a great layering piece if you want to go skiing, hiking. Um, it looks great layered under a puffer jacket. So that's what I got this for. It's incredibly soft and warm. I really love Oisho and it's much more affordable than Lululemon and I feel they do a better job at making things for outdoor sports, especially in the winter. So in the back just is plain. It has the two nice zippered pockets there and also a pretty deep pocket there. And here's that layering vest from Oisho. So it is really nice and soft and cozy. I love it. And I got this to wear kind of under a puffer coat just to make it a little bit warmer and it comes down a little bit longer, which is nice. One last plain black coat that I really like. I've only wore once though so far. It was from Kylie Jenner's new line Kai and it's by Entire Studios. It's in collab with them. So I got this all black coat in a size large. So I'll put it up here on screen. If you want to go back and watch my review on that, feel free. But I really like that coat and I feel like it's really well made i just haven't had it long enough to do like a full review on it but so far so good so as always i'm gonna link everything in the description below as well as the sizes i tried on and then my measurements just in case you need a reference until next time bye guys